Turn up a good song and put on your lucky hat. We've got that and more in this Summoner Showcase. Summoners, there you were, browsing the internet. And then you came across a League of Legends fan video hosted by a chick with weird hair. I'm Nikasaur, and the hair is proof. And let's see what you guys had in store for us this week. Lal Kauai is going to start us off. Do you find yourself getting fidgety between games? Maybe you should sculpt. This Blade Mistress Morgana figure is designed, sculpted, and painted with all the spiky bits we come to expect from our knife-obsessed angel. Here's an unexpected way to stay thematically appropriate in a poem by Oops, I Cut You. A villanelle is a very difficult piece of poetry, but this Cassiopeia entry stands out. Taking you to a secluded place, all of your deepest secrets she'll take while holding you in her serpent's embrace. Since we're visiting the fine arts, I dare say it's time for a piano piece about Sona from our emissary, Gluex. That song is merely inspired by a champion, but cosplay is all about emulation in every detail. Ifin and Lessiar know each nuance of their favorite champion style, and they have the talent to make that look good. It isn't easy to replicate fashion from a video game with cloth and plastic, but these gals leave no detail unaccounted for. Here is something I would love to see more of. Animations, especially those by Rick Murray. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Stay behind your minions. Stay behind your minions. Stay behind your minions. Stay behind your minions. That announcer sounds like a rager. I wonder if you can take him to tribunal. Let's see. We have multiple accounts of unsporting behavior, including trash talk, calling out player positions. And the chat log show you insulted someone's mother and called Urgot fat. You're making this not fun. That's what League is about, right? Fun and winning. Winning is fun. And so is turning people into squirrels. Kanas has a truckload of art on her DeviantArt page. Everything from Yordles doing Yordle things to some retro stylings of Twisted Fate in Nidalee and a little trip through a haunted lane of Twisted Treeline. But there's one thing in common. They're all delightful. If you were surrounded by ghosts, which champion would you want on your side? I'd pick Mordekaiser because he could just make more ghosts, like a ghost party. Answer that question on the Showcase Facebook page and you can be as cool as Yarman13, who's our featured fan. When you're playing a game with a mostly top-down perspective, certain design elements stand out more than others, which is, I think, why we see so many League of Legends hats. It's surprising that we see so many Teemo hats out there in the world, considering he can so easily go into stealth. But when it comes to crocheted headwear, this one takes the cake. Cute Lane combines wintry fashion with some League styling and creates the perfect hybrid hat. If you're looking for something more literal, Hannah makes custom fleece character hats too, so you can make your head half Ramus or Wukong. This Lost Pawn shows some more Yordle appreciation with this huggable Ken and Beanie too. That wraps up this week, but hopefully it sets the gears in motion for you to create your own fan stuff and send it in. Of course, click the like button to support your local fan artists and share the videos around. Plus, it's a good way to cool off when the announcer is sassing you. You have been slain. What? Don't you judge me, disembodied lady. Don't listen to the voices. And we'll see you next time.